Oh, this one's going to be a doozy. Step into my library. So what some of you might know is that I am an Assyrian, A-S-S-Y-R-I-A-N, more on that another time. But in short, I grew up in a church in Flint, Michigan that was Aramaic speaking. Okay. And Aramaic is the language that Jesus spoke. It was the lingua franca of his time, the common language. And it was an, a language that was used um, f- by all people. So this would have been a language that that was being spoken by Jewish people. This was a language that was being spoken by people that were of Assyrian, Chaldean, Arab descent. And it's kind of like the Latin is to Europe and came Italian, French, you know, other languages. So was Aramaic to Hebrew, Assyrian, and Arabic. But the King James Bible, in the efforts to translate Aramaic to Greek, um, and then Greek and, and Latin into English, there are approximately 16,000 errors in translation that have been corrected by a gentleman who is deceased now, but his name is George M. Lemsa. And I believe this Bible uh, translation, it's called Pshita because it means straight, direct, from the Aramaic, straight into English, bypassing, get into, into Greek, get it into Latin, get it into English. It's getting it from Aramaic, from someone who's from that part of the world and then wrote it at a time that was also very relevant. This was published decades ago. I want to read this kind of quickly here in these last few seconds. The following list of Aramaic words further illustrates the difficulties of the early translators from the Aramaic into Greek at a time when questions of punctuation, uh, accentuation, and paragraphing were unknown. This is especially true of Aramaic, which is the richest and most expressive language of the Semitic group, but having a small vocabulary when compared with the Greek and Latin. That means there were 400 words in Aramaic. All of these little dots and dashes around it told you what the word really was. One word could have like 50 different meanings. And if you're not clear on all of that, you could be missing translations and huge errors like the last words that Christ spoke were not My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? But my God, my God, for this I was kept. Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani. More on this.